Hi everyone, it's Lisa. Today on Doodle Draw Art, we're going to draw Archie. I'm going to start off by making a curved line on the side of his head, and then I'll just make a C underneath that for his ear. You can see the line that comes and touches the top of his ear, and then we're just going to extend it just down below the ear to come around the bottom of the chin. Just coming down like this to the point and then up around the side of his face. You see the ear on one side, we're just gonna match up on the other side a little bit higher, that's where the cheek is gonna end. And you'll see that it's just curved out a bit to the side. His other ear is gonna go right across there. Now we're gonna draw a line, well, let's just draw the inside of his ear first. Now we're gonna draw a line that goes from his ear to his other ear that just shows the top of his cheeks. It's almost a straight line with just a bit of a curve. And then just below that, coming over from the side where his ear is, we're going to go and make his nose. It's sort of a, a bit of a, a square shape or a little bit of a D. It's curving in toward there. You can see it's a little bit to the right, not quite in the center. And then we'll draw in three freckles on each side. And the other ones just here by his nose. These ones are a little bit smaller because that side of his face is further away. All right, so looking at the side here where his cheek is, make his smile. So we'll make the edge of his smile just a tiny curve here, and we'll see how it's going to come down about the same width of his nose, and then the same amount down for the top of his mouth. So we're going to make a line that comes across from there, and it's going to stop just underneath those freckles, sort of underneath that lowest freckle. And then his teeth are going to line up with the edge of his nose. So just come down from there, make a little line. And then we're going to draw the open mouth from the corner. We're going to go down, and then you can see is smiling. So we're going to have it curving in the same sort of direction and closing on the other side. Right, and then we're going to just draw a little line at the bottom to show his chin. And we'll make his tooth, his unit tooth. You don't draw all the teeth in, we're just gonna make a white area up here for where his teeth are. And then we'll draw two bumps at the bottom where his tongue will be. And now all this will be colored in black on either side of his tongue. Great, so far so good. All right, so let's have a look now at his eyes. We're just going to see above this freckle here, we're gonna make a nice eyeball. And the other one is going to be a little bit to the right of his nose, but not all the way across. So this one is centered between the ear and the nose. And the other one is going to be just to the side here. And make a nice black circle. So when we draw the eyeball edges, we're just going to make a faint arch, arch, archy. Uh, we're just going to make a faint arch over his eye to show the, where the white of the eye is separated from his face. But we're not going to draw a solid line all the way around, just a rainbow shape. And I just extended that line a little bit. I'm just going to erase it, the edge of his cheek line. I didn't want it to go so far. I should really stop right at the corner of his eye there. And then this other side, we're going to have about the same height as the other eye. Well, uh, pretty much the same height, just a little bit of an angle because the whole thing is angled down. And again, we're just going to make an incomplete line on the inside, but it's going to come all the way down to his cheek on the outside. Great. All right, so now we're just going to put a little line in here to show where the bridge of his nose is coming down toward the sticky out part. And from here we can make his eyebrows. So just think about the distance here. We're just going to leave I mean, above his eyeball, out to the side, and then further out we're going to start the, the eyebrow there. And just color it in with our pencil. They're like fluffy caterpillars, these eyebrows. Quite dark. And then we can do the same thing on the other side. We'll look at the eyeball. And we'll come out to the edge of the eye, and we'll leave a little bit of space, and then we'll start to color in in a, a curve shape, similar to the way it curves around the eye. So we're just going to color that in. 
and you can make sure it curves, curves on the ends a little tiny bit. And just make a little few extra lines here just to make it look like their hair. All right, so now let's come on over here and finish in his side of his face. So he's leaning over to the side a little bit. And so the shape that we have here, we have his hair coming along the edge. We're just going to make a curved line here to show where the orange of his hair finishes. And it comes just about to the top of this eyebrow and then up over. So now we can draw the, the squiggles for his hair. So it's like an S turned on its side a little bit. And another S turned on its side on this side, up and over, and then curving in. Just like this. All right, so now we can draw the side of his face. So it's going to be a line that just comes down toward his cheek from up here. We're just going to make a line aiming for the side of his cheek, but stopping in where his eyeballs are. So we're just going to come down the side and into there, but leave it open a little bit. And then we'll just tuck his ear right in behind here. That's the ear that's further away from us. All right, so now we're going to make a line that angles up. This is the edge of his hair. And then we can make the part of his hair coming from right in here, just between those two, angling out, and another line. And then coming back to that point, we'll come up and over. And you see how this part comes open down lower? We're going to make sure that the arch at the top is in the same area, because that's one big piece of hair. And then same as the other side. It's open as one big piece of hair. So then we're going to come out to the side, and then from here we can make a curved line that connects all the way down to his ear. And you can see that this also lines up pointing toward his chin. And then we'll just draw in his neck. So you can see that your neck is always attached by your ears if you think about your own body. So you want to keep that um, line of his neck coming down as if it was coming from the ear. So we're just going to pull a line here and bring it down. And same thing on the other side. If you imagine the edge of his head comes down, that's a good width for his neck. And we can just put a little shadow in here, some hash marks. Looking good. All right, so now we have to think about he's wearing a t-shirt, so I'm just going to show a little bit more of his shoulders and then make the U for the collar of the shirt. And it's going to have some ribbing, so I'll make a little fabric design here with ribbing, and that's about it. That's how we draw Archie. So now we can just put in some lines here to show um, some shadows and some of the texture of his hair. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching me draw Archie today, and this was a subscriber request, so I would love it if you would make a request here as well, if there's something that you'd like to draw. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.